to recap, um, he's told me to shut up in my own house and did it to humiliate me. And the next time I listened to him speaking in Chinese, uh, I just said, I know what you're doing. He said, okay, what am I doing? And I'm, well, you're, I, the old story, you're one of the best. You're one of the best brain scientists. Wow. Around. Uh, and, um, wow, I shouldn't tell this story, should I? This is a dangerous story to tell. Who could figure out who it, no, I'm just some crazy fucker, right? Uh, yeah, I looked at him and I said, yeah, you're peddling heroin. I don't know what it necessarily was. That's what I said. You have to, you'd have to uh, think I knew how to speak Chinese well enough to say that. I don't know how to say heroin. I'm sure he didn't say heroin. Um, but that's what I accused them of. And, uh, yeah, that was it. No canceling the class or telomere. They just didn't fucking come. And, um, so my thing with, uh, narcissism, what's interesting to me is, can I actually say that I've ever met a narcissist who didn't do really kind things? And, uh, Uh, no, um, I can't. Uh, I'm not even going to tell you what uh, I discussed with him. And he was, you know, a, a psychiatrist he, and a human being. And the job of a psychologist is just to be a human being. And he did that for a while with me, and it was absolutely therapeutic. He, I mean, he paid me. Um, and at the time he said something that's really kind of stuck with me, I guess, when I think about these kind of things. He said, you know, me and the other guys, they're saying, like, they're talking about me, and they say, you know, this guy's pretty smart, actually. We should find something for him to do, right? And then they talked to each other, and they said, no, if you gave him a job, he wouldn't be who he is. Just leave him alone. <laughs> so you have to wonder, like, what, what would that job have been? Uh, how would it have impacted my life? But the thing is, is that it's impossible. You can't give me a job. I haven't had a job in uh, over, well, 40 years. I haven't had a job. It's just distinct from not working. I should just go around and find, like, um, the things I used to do. Like, people would, I would get people to, Tell me about. Uh, and tell me about uh, what I can remember. One circumstance. Tell me how how did he get ripped off for like six hundred thousand dollars from a big American electronics company? He didn't know exactly how it happened. So I spent like a month figuring out how he'd been ripped off, and uh, wrote a little book about it. It's here somewhere. I could find it probably. Uh, so I just dropped the book off and he gave me 500 bucks but you know if you broke that down by the hour oh my god I probably got like 10 bucks an hour I'm more than that but um yeah I couldn't have a job I couldn't like somebody's gonna tell me to sit here and do this do that you can't have coffee at like 10 o'clock I don't imagine that's the way they're thinking but anyway nothing like that I can't imagine I mean they, he's a psychiatrist he could tell that wouldn't have worked I couldn't do it literally couldn't do it uh, um, yeah so there's this really uh, dangerous knack I'd be interested in hearing from other narcissists if they have that and the thing is is that um, it doesn't really just apply to uh, Narcissist, if I feel that I've been really profoundly insulted by someone, I don't think this is like being narcissist means to think everything's special. Like everybody does this, right? But I've got a really wicked way about it. And uh, yeah, I don't really plot any revenge or you know, anything like that. But I'll say something, right? And I'm really, really mean. Things I've said to narcissists who was a victim of, they didn't deserve the cruelty. 
that I subjected them to. I really, I don't think so, man. Um, I've got another narcissist story straight from this chair. And it's about the other brain scientist. And I'm, if you, I'm so paranoid to tell this story because he could actually, like in a billion years, figure out that I made this <laughs> about him. And no, he was mean, man. He tried to just, he did really try to destroy me psychologically because I'd tried to destroy him psychologically. Um... I shouldn't tell. I shouldn't tell that story. I shouldn't tell any of these. I don't think. Um, not anything that happened in this chair, anyway. Okay, I guess that was a bit of a jip.